Hello guys, this is the Super Rare 1992 Nissan Altec Skyline 26. My name is Mo from RTG Performance and let's check the car with me. Come on! The Altec Skyline 26 is the only car that came in a four-door sedan, a one-off RB26 DE, all with four-speed auto and have the same four-wheel drive system of the GTR. Under 200 were even, even produced. It looks very similar to a regular four-door R32 Skyline but with wider front and rear guards and GTR front grille. As you can see here, the fenders are wider than the normal Skyline. And here is the iconic GTR front grille. The engine produced 220 horsepower from factory. It is a specially tuned to run without a turbo with ITBs and extractors to aid with throttle response. Those were only produced with a 4 speed automatic gearbox and in Altex, uh, Altex signature olive green paint. It's incredibly difficult to find one in almost full original con example like this since they were only often modified to have the RB26 DET engine twin turbo set up or worse the engine take it out and place it in a restore modified Hakosuka build and scrap it where the panels would eventually go to other skyline for a GTR lookalike build The green RB26DE cam belt and camshaft covers and the rear showing the Skyline 26 badge only ever found on the Altec R32. The engine is a 2.6 liter Nissan RB26DE in line 6. The power is 220 PS at 6800 RPM. The drivetrain is an Atessa ETS all-wheel drive. The weight of this car is 1480 kilos. Yep, 0 100 kilometers per hour, per hour. it's 9 point, uh, sorry, 7.9 seconds with top speed of 218 kilometers per hour. The driving range is 470 kilometers, that's not bad for a car like this. And uh, we're only producing 188 cars. Okay, now let's talk about this car in particular. Well, the first thing I noticed in this car, it's uh, the mileage, right? You guys can notice here, the mileage, it's really, really high. Just a second, let me set up. So it's 300, 317, 364 kilometers. So that's a lot for a car like this. And uh, let me see what else. Well, this is almost 200,000 miles. Uh, looking at the interior of the vehicle, it's better than many other vehicles I've seen with 80,000 kilometers or less. Just let me take the zoom. Up, zoom on, zoom out. Okay, here it is. So here, let's take a look at the interior of this car. Right? You can see no bubbles on the dashboard. No tears or um, faded steering uh, steering wheel. It's also good, and you can see the badge here of Altec only found on this car. The side brake, it's okay. Uh, the shift knob, it's okay too. Here, it's only one, the one of the problems I found. It's the cover missing on the headlight switch. And unfortunately, the the seats, not the seats, the only the driver seat was changed to an uh, old school Ricardo because probably, well, with that mileage, the seat wasn't uh, good enough, probably with tears uh, and worn out. Take a look here. Yeah. As you can see, the the seats use the same 
shape of uh, HCR32 Skyline, the, um, the GTST, but the fabric used on those cars are different. Well, this one is also not the stock one, but you can see the rear ones are the same GTR um, fabric used on it. Okay. Um, other things we can notice is there is a big logo of Altec here on the the intake manifold and also we can see here uh, probably aftermarket tower bar and the NA um, exhaust manifold here we also have um, carbon air what is called that Diffuser, yes, a diffuser. Here is a carbon diffuser and produced by Sakurai. Huh, I can read that rest. Someone named Sakurai and Progressive Performance Parts. Okay, nice sticker here RB26 in car. And do you guys notice something missing here? Yeah, there is the battery, the engine. Okay, right, suspension, tower bar. Wasn't something supposed to be here? What is this space here? Right? So let me tell you guys, where is the air filter? Right? So the air filter in this car, it's here. It's hard to see, but it's here just below the battery. So it's really hard to have access on it, but makes the engine room looks cleaner. Also this metal panel here uh, helps to uh, keep other parts away from the exhaust manifold where it, get, it hits a lot. Let's take a look at the, the hood. Some stickers here. Prince Skyline, Nissan Prince. Garage Defend GT cooling panel. Hmm, that's cool. Nissan Cusco and Microlone, Microlone 3 powertrain and again Nissan Prince Tokyo there was something wrote here about the RPM and everything here but since it's a uh, very the faded the letters can be here we cannot uh, read it so probably some guys are asking so why those two cars are in the side of this special specific car well, what I mean is all the three cars are made from Altec. The Silvia, Nissan, uh, the Nissan Silvia S15 Varieta, it's a unique uh, Nissan Silvia, but convertible. This is my personal car. I use this car to go to events. Some of you guys probably haven't seen it. And, right? And this is the car I bought recently. It's a Nissan Stasia 260RS. Here you can see it's Altec version. So what means, what is different from this Stasia from the other ones? Well, this is a four wheel drive RB26 DTT twin turbo GTR engine with uh, the four wheel drive system from R33. Uh, this one when I bought already had this nice R34 conversion probably the fenders are from Mass Sports or something like that and I hope soon I can um, do the JCI or inspection here it's called Shaken and drive it around okay let's go back to the to the Skyline 26 okay so what do you guys think about this car it's basically with uh, stock wheels, stock olive green color. It's similar to the uh, R32 Nissan Skyline, the GTST wheels, but as you can see, it's a bit different, right? And big bra uh, brakes on it. Again, here the Altec logo. Let's walk around the car. Even the muffler still stock. Here again the Altec sticker. 
and the Skyline 26 logo. Let's go to this side. As you guys can see, it's a very clean car. It does have some uh, paint faded parts, have some scratches, for example, uh, like here. There's some scratches here. It's not 100% perfect car, but if you think about the mileage of it or uh, the 25 years old age and, uh, and, the, uh, and the price, you guys will understand that really a good deal and I'm impressed that it wasn't sold yet. Here again on the front bumper, there's the Alltech logo made for especially for this car. Okay, so this was Mo from RTJ Dame Performance. If you like the video and if you want more videos like this, if you can give some uh, tips or how I can do it better or not, just uh, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on that uh, bell on, side, on the side and let's enjoy car life. See you guys.